Right, okay, we're going to make a start at painting this building that George has built. Um, George T built it out of 2mm plywood, for those that have been watching it. Covered it in dash, brass windows, and, uh, brass doors, and downpipes, guttering, and the wooden windows. The noise in the background is the prairie tank, with a South West Digital chip in it. Pissing away and um, pissing away, pissing away, just pissing. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to use is Tamiya enamel thinners, and it's about quarter, just over a quarter of a pot, and a little bit of black paint, flat black in there. So we need to be quiet back there. Just can't get the drivers these days. Just noisy. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do. This is the consistency of almost water and we're just going to run it down over the brickwork and as you can see it goes right into the mortar and starts to give colour and depth to the brickwork really. I mean George described all this and he's got it deep enough that the Tammy is running into it, the dirty paint, if you like, want to do a better expression, will gather into the mortar and the clean just runs down to actually just stain the stonework. I wanted it to be about the same colour as the actual road bridge. The road bridge is dirtier because that's got trains running under it, years of smoke etc. Going under it. You left me a tricky bit back here but I can't get to this bit very well. We're going to struggle with this but we'll have a go. Um, generally this only takes one coat. It doesn't need to. Um, any areas that are a bit too light just go over again. And to be honest that varies it. You can see there where that's slightly darker than the other areas and that will help make it stand out just a little bit different really it's not a big job um, it's a lot easier than I expected it to be I've already painted the down pipes and given them a coat of paint I will redo the down pipes and the, uh, the door frames later on but uh, we've got to get this in first so that we've got a nice West Country grey stone finish to the building. And you can see there, it's just running in nice. Lots of different colour with it, lots of different texture coming in with it, and uh, gives it a bit of variety. George is making up the cold stage whilst we're doing this. There we go, that's the cold stage coming. Out of 2 mil ply. 2 mil ply. He does like to poke in, doesn't he? Dear, oh dear. And uh, later on we're going to do the roof. Um, not quite sure how we're going to do that yet, but um, we've got some ideas. Well, yeah, George hasn't got a clue on this. No clue. But, uh, what day is it, anyway? Uh, I really don't know. I drove, drove up here Wednesday night from Derbyshire to Stockport. Um, and we actually stayed in here modelling till nearly one o'clock this morning. He kicked me out of the pit at six o'clock this morning when his good lady had to go off to work. Had a good breakfast and then we've come in here and uh, we're playing trains for the day. Um, this is a little bit hard to show you. I've already, you can see on the end here, there was already a piece done. That's where I've picked an area that won't be shown too much just to make sure I had the right colouring and uh, not too dark, not too light. The first bit I put on was a bit too light, we toned it down a bit, I made it a bit too dark and since then I've lightened it up again a bit. But it's gradually, uh, gradually coming to Is the right Is that the best colour to paint on white? Yeah, yeah, I always use, the, well I always use the, uh, the white DAS if you want a grey stone finish 
because um, you can you can pick out the stones afterwards with other colours. Uh, again, that's the beauty of using the dash. You can just get some enamel colours and uh, see the way this is running in. It just runs down because it's so thin and dirty. On the can't beat thin and dirty. Can't beat thin and dirty. There's not many thin and dirty, but and dirty up here, but not many thin in Manchester. <laughs> All dirty. Yeah. But there we go. So that's the building almost done. Um, well, you've done the whole building. Yeah, the whole building suitably painted. That'll just dry off now. It won't change much in colour. Um, we're not doing the back because the back is going to be up against the back scene anyway. And George couldn't be bothered to put oh. doors and windows. Yeah, that's the word. Um, in there. Uh, chimneys to do. As you can see, I've already put some brown around the chimney pots. And um, that was to take away the, the, the bit of steel that was there. Um, to make them look like terracotta chimneys. Um, I know Jason Sandside is quite fussy about his chimneys and uh, it's good to see that people take care like that. Um, unfortunately George has just put a bit of copper on there but there we go. You just can't get the staff these days. Can you mate? <laughs> go on, you're alright. Yeah. <laughs> certainly brings out the bricks though, doesn't it? Though? Yeah. And as I say, you're not actually doing any more than letting it run in itself and uh, just if it goes on the roof at this stage it doesn't matter because the roof will have a coat of grey. I might even do the roof the same way although it's plastic card and it's um, no, it's not, it's card. Oh it's card paper that's right yeah. PVA glue. Yeah so uh, there we go. So that's basically one station building all but done. And it ran for George's approval. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's good. And that's about all you're going to need to get a nice station building. I'm just going to play with this end bit because I've got a dark a bit there and a light a bit there. So blend that a bit just, together. Just try a bit on the roof while you're there because it's okay. going to give it a good base colour. Take the shine right. off, isn't it? Yep. Doesn't want to know. It's too thin for the roof. So yeah. we'll have to try something else. It's well, all it's a case porous, of experimenting. It? It's all a case of experimenting. So what we'll do so is... So maybe if you give it a coat of acrylic grey first. Coat of acrylic grey, then a wash over with this, it may work. Yeah. We'll try that later on. That's another thing to try. Now I'll try and pick the damn thing up. You yeah. know what you forgot? Uh, what colour are those sills going to be there? They're going to be painted grey afterwards. Yeah. I'll go around and do them afterwards. No, um, I should do them in brown afterwards. But... Uh, We'll see what, uh, what transpires on that. So there we go, that's the station building. Well, this building. is uh, Trivadic Station in situ now on the layout. It's not fixed yet, obviously. Andy's got a bit more painting work to do. We're just trying to see what difference it's made. And as you can see, the bricks are more vivid. It's and coming out quite nice, isn't it? The, yeah. The mortar stands out and uh, it's we've got a bit of depth and contrast to it. So then his next day he's going to do the signal box and then he'll be painting the roofs. Which way away Andy? Always in the way. Always in the way. You just can't get the stuff. And then we say we go down and see this little bit here. Get your hands out of Wayne Lemon. <laughs> Moving my little van. And then you can see the look of the layout. Minus the uh, signal box at the moment. We've yet to put that back on there. But as you can see I think Andy's made a a1 job of the stonework. And this is where the coaling stage is going to go that George is making up. Yeah, well, <coughs> I say Andy's workshops.